Hey, it's Chris, better known as CT Hippo. This is the first in a series of videos I'm producing to pass on the lessons I've learned about video production. Something we've probably all noticed in watching videos on YouTube is a lot of times absolutely awesome footage will end up combined with not so awesome music and it leaves the whole production feeling a bit meh. It's not necessarily that the music is bad, but rather it was chosen for the wrong reason. Music and video production should not be the focus, but rather should enhance the video. Generally, no one remembers the music, but they remember how the video made them feel. It's evoking these feelings that music is best at. To demonstrate this, I picked a rather unassuming clip of video from my library, and I'm going to set it to several different pieces of music. In each case, the video is the same, but pay attention to how you feel watching it and what your brain says is going to happen next. So here's the video. This is my girlfriend Leslie going up the stairs at Burroughs Island Lighthouse. As you can see, it's not all that exciting in itself. There's a small element of expectation built into it, but basically, it's pretty dull. Man. Huh? Yeah. Now, let's try it with music. You'll notice the music not only made the video feel more complete, but it also set up something of a positive expectation. Now, let's try it with another piece of music. This one gives the clip a very heroic feeling, like a great goal has been accomplished. The video hasn't changed, but the feeling associated with it should have. Let's try something a little scarier. my weapons grade scary music. Even though I was there, I took the footage, and I've watched it many, many times in the production of this video, I still expect something scary to happen at the end. That's the power that music has on us. Those last two clips are both from movie soundtracks. The first is Hans Zimmer's soundtrack from the movie Backdraft, and the second is John Frizzell's soundtrack from Alien Resurrection. I find movie soundtrack albums to be my best source for music because they are professionally designed to evoke emotion. Music from video games is also sometimes a good source for the same reason. It's just a matter of finding the piece that matches the emotion you're going for in your video. This brings me back to something I mentioned earlier. Often times, music we otherwise like ends up detracting when used in video production. One common reason for this is that the lyrics distract from the action on the screen, leaving our brains trying to process two things at once. Unless I have a very specific reason for doing so, I avoid using music that has lyrics. 
So, to wrap it up, when you select music for your videos, look for something that evokes a certain emotion in the viewer, but doesn't detract from the footage. The goal is not to choose awesome music, but to make the whole package memorable by leaving with them a certain feeling.